uh, in continuation with the uh, previous session uh, here we are going to see about the pillars the barriers and the benefits of uh, uh, tqm according uh, the pillars of uh, tqm uh, we have uh, four pillars the first one is problem solving uh, discipline and the second one is interpersonal skills which has to be built among the workers and employees and also managerial persons and uh, third one is teamwork this teamwork is uh, the main cause for any successful implementation of quality and also the productivity of uh, the products and services and finally the quality improvement process which has to be monitored continuously and uh, the reports and the feedback on which uh, has to be submitted and analyzed then and there coming to the barriers the barriers for the tqm implementation are a lack of trained workers poorly installed equipment and the poor workmanship so these are the major causes for uh, the uh, there is a barriers which which is for tqm implementation and the second one is the competitive markets so this competitive markets changes every day uh, with respect to time and uh, if you have poor plans and scheduling uh, specifications or poorly defined work scope will also lead to the barrier in implementation then bad attitudes among the workers employees the management then lack of competent field managers so who can uh, who is uh, sir, uh, struggling for uh, uh, survival and uh, competing with the managers of other products then coming to the benefits of this tqm the first benefit is it's better defined project scope and objectives so we may have a clear scope and objectives on the uh, project uh, on the products and also uh, the service the second one is greater communication of the objectives third one uh, it uh, enhances uh, and improves the teamwork's ability and uh, effective planning and scheduling will be possible in this uh, total quality management so that that will lead to uh, meeting uh, the uh, meeting the demands and meeting the expectations of both the industry the, which is manufacturing or service and also the customers and uh, the appropriate training to the employees and also the employers uh, will lead to uh, quality ma management and implementation in the industries of service and also manufacturing sectors and uh, coming to this uh, tangent tangible uh, benefits and uh, intangible benefits under tangible benefits we may achieve improved product quality improved productivity reduced quality costs increased market and customers increased profitability reduce the employee grievances so these will be the tangible uh, benefits of this tkm implementation whereas the intangible benefits are improved employee participation improved teamwork improved working relationships improved customer satisfaction improved communication enhancement of job interest enhancement problem solving capacity and a better company image thank you